Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the flip through of my January journal, my garden journal that I made for the January Just Junk Journal Challenge 2024. This is my ensemble here. I have my journal, my tassel, and my ephemeral holder that I made for this challenge. So first, uh, here's my little tassel. And you saw that on Wednesday. Um, it was made with a tea towel that I had gotten for my wedding 14, almost 14 years ago. Um, the handles from a gift bag from the spine of the journal that I used for my cover. And then my mom's coloring book, I took a piece of the scrap, wrapped it around the paper clip and added that there. So um, my tassel is just attached with a um, paper clip and that was from my binding kit. So um, I used a journal and I turned it inside out. So this was actually the outside parts of the journal. And um, so that was the cover. And I decided to turn it inside out and use the other side for the cover. Um, this goes better with my decor. And once I make a garden journal, um, in it it is out from like january to november january to october it is on my table it is on my coffee table it is on a tv tray and i'm working in it um i am constantly working in it so i wanted it to be something that matched it has three um three signatures five whole pamphlet stitch this is the tea towel i used the um, backboard from my dad's yellow lined paper, which was one of my items that I chose for my kit. Um, it was the, the end of the pad. I think I only had like six pages left and that board. So I was able to use that board. Then I used a piece of um, the back of the paper pad that I used. To go across to give it some more strength and then I put the tea towel on over the top of it. I did go ahead and use some antique wax, um, the Finnabar metallic wax in aged brass to give this uh, an aged look. I love the way it looks. There is no closure because this, this book will hardly ever be closed. <laughs> it will, um, yeah. I, once it starts getting used, it will be getting used. I'm excited because, I mean, this is as flat as you can lay a book that is this big, but it is still going to be writable. I may add a pocket here or something if I think I need it. I know how to do it. So, um, yeah, but I, I liked, some days I just want to be able to go on this path you know, and, and go visit this, uh, these flowers. I live in the desert. And so sometimes it's just really cool to get to see something, something that's green and flourishing like that. I do have flowers and things, but, um, yeah, this is the one thing I miss about living in Ojai is the flowers. Okay, so um, these, when you see these with the houses or these with the lined pages, they are from the journal that I used as my book that I, I had, I put in my kit so that I would have it for my cover. Okay, the roses, you'll see them throughout. Those are from the wrapping paper. This is tape from the... Um, we could use any tape except washi tape. And so this is the drywall tape, uh, digital flinch card from Dear Julie Julie's Etsy shop and a piece of lace down here. And this is one of my edges and it is on a piece of the dyed paper. Okay. Here I have um, part of the postcard kit from the hummingbird the woodland hummingbird kit and so this is one of my dear julie julie pages i also used um a 
This is from a six pack and I just flipped it up. I added some stenciling there. You see, you've got the, the nest and then I did add some stitching around the outside. This was um, some lace from my little bit of lace. Um, I did use a menu board page from digital and this is also from one of the digitals and it's just in there. This is the hummingbird tags and I printed them as a thumbnail. And so there's five of them across this page. You could use any paper that you wanted to that you could print Dear Julie Julie um, digitals on. So here's a little bit. These are from the, uh, this. these two are from the second one sheet that you can earn in 2024 when you come to the freebie Fridays. This is also from that. There's some stenciling, a little bit of the wrapping paper hearts. This was a piece that was left over and this is a scrap from the um, Thomas Guide. I printed a one of from the rainy day kit. Um, I printed Ashley on my dad's graph paper, so I'll have a full, a full sheet of graph paper to be able to use. This is one of my tabs, magazine Rolo wrapper. This is this was in my little bit of lace. I attached it with staples and I put it on a whale tail punch that I punched out of sewing pattern instructions. This is from the calendar. This is from my something special. It was my mom's journal. This is Dollar Tree packing paper. My Edith Holden and I printed on it. And this is my, um, my tip-in. And so I made it with several pages and I did enhance the lock so that it would stay closed. It was not staying closed. Here, this is from the gift bag. This is from the side of the gift bag. And then I flipped it up and I have a couple of little things here. I used the Amazon packing and I made several really quick little tags. This is also from that, um, I'm gonna call it the number two one sheet for 2024. Um, this is a church envelope. This is from the number two uh, one sheet. And this is from, or no, this is from the, num yeah, number two. And this is number one. And we've got a cute little tiny envelope. And I didn't seal it up all the way because it wants to open. And there's a little tiny piece from the scraps in there. This is my mini challenge in the challenge where we took an envelope, opened it up and made it into a little notebook. You had to have um, so many pages. And so, yeah, so I covered a, or I used a church envelope um, to make a template. Then we have this and, oh, we've got this that we can add. <laughs> I was making embellishments constantly out of the things that were hanging around. This is from the, the coloring book that I used. And we have a paper clip and that we're using to keep this closed. And it is living in there. This is my tuck with a mystery. Okay, and I had this from my scrap box, and I made this out of a um, of, of a scrap. I went ahead and just folded it into three. I had cut this piece off, and I was like, "Well, I'm just going to use it anyway." And I attached the pieces, the watermelon and the flowers, from that number one one sheet. I put a stamp here that I made using the far away kit. I made a, I used a full page of the far away 
stamps and so they're all through here and then there's some in the ephemera holder this is one of from the tops of one of these and um, this is from the back of the paper pad this is from the sides or the bottom of one of these pages and from the address the address book okay these are going to be great for me. I'll be able to um, put my seed packets on them. And then just, um, I what I like to do is use the seed packet like a little pocket. And then use a little paper on the inside to keep track of how, when I planted it, um, how it did, you know, when it came up, when all that. Um, here's one of my little tabs. This one has a tea bag. Um, an embossed thing from the scrapbacks and a postcard digital. And again, it's on a piece of the sewing paper from my, so my little box. This is um, from my little bit of lace. There's a stamp and a rose just attached there. And we added an edge to this page. The lace came out kind of far, so I put it on a page that was in a little bit further. It's got a gift bag, um, paper pad, and tea towel. These are the other sides of the pages you've already seen. I made another little tab. This one has the, the um, dyed paper, avocado dyed paper. It's the Martha Stewart lace punch edge that I did out of from a magazine. Um, it was another thing that I did um, doing magazine doing a tool tip for the Patreons, and um, so I added some of that. This is from packaging. It is a tag from a flower from Dollar Tree. The other side of the rainy day. And I, I have two little images here, and I have the image there, some stenciling, and another stamp, another little um, tuck with journaling space. This was from the gift bag from the bottom of the gift bag, and it was naturally folded like that. And then we have this little piece that can be written on. I have the other side of my ledger. And I have, I have a spot. I have a spot. Where's my, um, let's see if there's anything in the, wow, that is a big plane right there. Like, do I have anything else? I pretty much used all of my things, but I have, I have this and you know what? She can go in the garden. She can go in the garden. There we go. Okay, and here we have a card from the Spring Blossoms Digital Kit. That's the one that you get postcards in a variety of sizes. That was one of my, that was one of my very first kits. And you get the Embroidery Kit, um, Digital Kit. So this is the edge that had the fabric and the Martha Stewart Punch Lace wrapping paper and a tea, tea um, label. This is my Zorro pocket. My Zorro pocket. And we have my tag with a job. And it's holding this. But this was my wraparound tag. I used wrapping paper, wrapped it all the way around, and then back around again. It has a little notebook or just a card that opens from the uh, garden coloring book that was my mom's. This is made out of a privacy envelope 
and I um, decorated. It's got the napkin on it. This is the a piece of the address um, book that I used, and it is covered with the second tier of the napkin. Turned out so pretty. Okay, so that can go in there. And then I have another one from the um, paper pad, the back of the paper pad with the digital, and then another little digital to go right in there. Map page with an edge. This is from the gift bag, and I went ahead and cut it out, and I was like, oh, well, we can write on there. This is from my Snippet, and I just added it to the edge, and I love it because it this and this just barely come out to the page. Here's the flap side of my double tuck. I have a place here to keep track of my potatoes. <laughs> um, that is from one of the vegetable pages. And then this is the Edith Holden. And I printed on it with the uh, ink saver kit. And then I went over the top of it with the white layer of the napkin. This was a birthday card. And we went ahead and added a piece of the address book to the back and one of the stamps and another piece of the address book. And you'll see it's got the pretty gold there. This is digital. And here and here is the wrapping paper. And we did put the wrapping paper all the way onto this side. Dad's yellow lined paper was one of the items that I chose to use. I chose the Thomas guide to use. And this is again, part of the journal. And then I have um, a couple of pages from the, um, my graph paper. This we have a little envelope. Here's our other spring blossom card. The lavender spring blossom cards, I've saved them for another journal that I'm making. What I did here is I went ahead and the flap opens and that fits right inside. This is the center of the signature. You turn this and, oh, this one here is the graph paper from my binding kit. Okay, so that's, this one is the graph paper from my binding kit. And this one, I went ahead and I printed <coughs> a single wallet onto the graph paper. This is my waterfall and I chose to do a horizontal waterfall. <coughs> Calendar had to be my base and I've added snippet here. These were some um, scraps and then I went ahead and I, this was from the day that I did the tool tip for the Patreons. Um, this was one of the scraps from that. I have a privacy envelope in here. And so I added another one from the back of the paper pad. Um, I did add dictionary here. Dictionary would be typed book pages. We can add those to our, our journals. It's a, a free item that we can add. This was a punched um, page from my mom's journal and lined paper from my dad's journal. Some wrapping paper uh, fussy cut here. This is from that day, our uh, first month of um, one sheets. And we have the girl with the watermelon and she fit in here perfectly. I'm gonna just set her outside, but she fits in there perfectly, so that was awesome. Then I had one of these, and I was like, oh, I think there's a place in the middle that needs that, and so there it is. I put it right inside. This is from the gift bag, and so that is my waterfall, and like I said, this time I decided to do a horizontal and we could still see her. Turn the page. We have my flip up, flip down, and it has an extra flip page to be able to, um, to write. And this is my favorite image from the sunflower kit. 
Um, it reminds me of my grandma. She had a hat just like that. And then um, this is the napkin that I use throughout. And I have um, some sewing pattern from that was in my uh, scrap box. And so here is a large tag. It's the Edith Holden words. And I printed the um, ink saver on top of it. And then I added the butterflies from the wrapping paper. And this piece from the, um, the napkin. And the uh, Edith Holden page is layered on top of a privacy envelope. So a lot going on there. And it's on a map page. And up here, I can write on that. And I, I will. Okay, and here we've got two. This here's another pocket from the gift bag. It's the gift bag that just kept on giving. I can also write here. Dad's lined paper. Excuse me. Here we have um, in the side pocket. We have a miniature of that inside a little coin envelope. And then here I have the bigger one and it's in the privacy envelope with the window where we um, made it like a library pocket. So it has the flap up and the flap comes down and it's on wrapping paper paper. Okay, so we have wrapping paper, a wrapping paper page and this is our a flip flop, okay. Then we've got, um, this is a six pack, okay? So we've got our, no, it's not. Ha! This is the other side of our double tuck. So I have, the envelope is made out of the gift bag. I added the um, hummingbird on top of it. And then I've got a card from the birthday card and a little, um, a little just a piece of the digital okay and oh you know what let's go ahead and put this in here okay so this is the privacy envelope flap with wrapping paired paper laid on layered on top we've got a tab here we've got a um, paper clip a hidden paper clip here and it is holding this side of the wrapping paper. You saw on the other side, I went ahead and fussy cut around the edge of the flowers. But this, I thought it might be kind of cool to go ahead and record the rain, um, the days that it rained. So <coughs> we'll see if I actually do that. But I have, I, it's, it's an idea. This is the bottom of the bag, the gift bag. And I went ahead and added, I thought that I could write on there. It's natural lines. And then this could be like a clipboard thingy here. And so this is from the journal, a scrap. This is a scrap from the journal from one of the corners. Privacy envelope and the gift bag. And that's my tag inside of the belly band that I made out of the snippet. Then I have this page from one of the dividers of the address book. I did have to cut it um, so it would fit in here, but I really like this sticking out, so I still had it sticking out. Oh, my double edge pocket. It doesn't have, well, there you go. So I need to put something in the double edge pocket. Put in the comments down below, Julie, put something in the double edge pocket. <laughs> so um, that way I know that you watched it this far. Um, I have this pretty bird card here in the snippet pocket and this little tag. This also came from the, um, the day one one sheet. Well, it came, there's two one sheets and it came from one of them. Here's my edge. And I did use a little bit of the gift, the guest check, some tool, the stamp and the rose. 
this was really cool this is my belly band and this is the card that is its insert also from the um, address book and then I went ahead and I thought this was really cool with the garden gate and so it's my mom's coloring book you go ahead you open it that's my dad's uh, lined paper in there and then um, over here there's a place and you can go ahead and write on things that are in here I, I made this on January 9th <laughs> so um, and then right underneath this heart is a little flip and you open it and you have your it's it's it has its mystery so you can write here you can write here and you've got a flip flop inside of here so i thought that that was really cool and then we're holding it down with a heart that's been cut out of the uh, wrapping paper the paper here is from the paper pad you go i did a flip up on this one and we have a really large tag here from the flower book that I chose and then it has a job it's holding a journaling card so there's our my really large tag and a page from the gift bag this just has a digital we've got digital um these are from the lavender uh roses lavender and pink roses digital and this one is from the spring blossom kit and we've got a little tag in there there's our um when i used the second layer of the napkin and i used it to cover a page this is a digital this is a digital this is my uh, project um, paper and we have a green graph paper this is my crooked pocket and it's a double pocket so i used a book page and i folded it so that it would be crooked and covered it with napkin did this cluster here we have a tag from the coloring book and a tag from the gift bag and that goes down behind that okay we have a tab here and here we have a little tiny pocket these were extra things that i made so there's uh, one of the the amazon packaging tags you know what i can go ahead and put this in the pocket that i didn't put anything in if i can find it well we'll, we'll come back and find it we'll put that up there but that's extra so mom's journaling and a couple of dollar tree packaging this is the other side of the um the project paper and it has the hummingbirds on it and then to cover the lines i used a scrap from the uh, paper pad here's my here's my onion information tag this was a uh, envelope that came with the card that you saw in the back and i just made a giant tag or giant card and i used the gazania page from my flower book layered on top of a piece of privacy envelope another one of the amazon tags with the dictionary and then a little cluster up there Again, those were, I just was making those when I was doing something. We have a cluster here. We have a tab here. Here's my flip. I used, um, oh, I, I forgot that I had the other water, the other, 
this that I could use in here. Um, so that I, it has uh, music paper that is covered with napkin. So it's uh, lighter and I could write on top of that. And then this is a wallpaper border and we've got um, paper pad and this is a butterfly. It's cut out of one of these. Oh, it's actually literally cut out of the page. That's right. And that's how the cluster ended up being here to cover up where I had cut that so I could put that in and use that to hold it. And then we've got down here at the bottom a little belly band that just helps to keep this in. The flowers from my flower book and I've got some Rolo packaging there as leaves. We have the baskets. That's also from the Spring Blossom Kit. This is from Saving Spring um, Digital Kit. And this is from the wrapping paper. This is from Far Away. Actually, Far Away Coffee and Tea Digital. And it's got the, the napkin um, second ply on the back there. Mom's journaling, Mom's journal with a piece from one of the digital pages. And here is another one of the pieces from the six pack, um, Hummingbird six pack. And then there's that, there's that, there's that. And this is from the garden uh, cook coloring book. And I made a giant journaling tag to go in this giant pocket. Um, this is, I printed on the back, or I printed on the ledger. This goes under here, so it holds all that in. And then here we have this little guy. And this was a fold-up pocket made out of the um, dictionary. And then this was from the coasters. And we have a little flippy from the um, cutoffs with the stamp holding it. This is a smaller edge that I made, tea bag label, uh, tag from flowers. This is digital and from the one sheet. And this is from the wrapping paper on top of dyed paper. And we have our little notebook made out of card. And so it is full of pages and I'm going to probably use this book and put it in my purse to keep track of gardening things that I need to pick up and stuff like that. And so we've got a couple things that we can add right here. I think we'll add, we'll add this right onto that page. I think that'll be really pretty. Okay, so one day I made a bunch of edges. I just decided I was going to make edges, so I did. Get some glue and then put this on here, on the edge. Okay, so this one has a digital, then floor, uh, tea towel, wrapping paper, and stitching and tape. This was an extra. This was not one of my um, required ones. It was an extra thing I was making when I was waiting for a video to upload. I'm, a lot of times I make, I just make things with things that are around me on the desk when I'm waiting for videos to upload. So we're looking for this. I think it was on the belly band page. The garden belly band. Okay, so there's that one. There, this one? Nope. I was thinking it was on there. Okay. 
Okay, so it wasn't that far. It's in here somewhere. There we go. It was a belly band. It was the other belly band. Okay, so we'll put this one in here. It actually has 154 pages, large and small. That's counting the front and the back of each page. Um, that is not counting the waterfall pages, the flip-flop pages, the tip-in pages. Um, those are all extra on top of 154 pages. And I think it has turned out wonderful. Now, I don't normally do the edge thing. Um, I will put tabs on that um, represent the year sometimes, um, but it's okay. This is it's a challenge journal and I had to make tabs because I had to follow the directions that the journal challenge person gave us. So there you go. I have my ephemera holder, my tassel, my cover, and my other items are on the inside. Everything is decorated. Everything's filled. And I'm so glad it's done. <laughs> so now it's on to February. So remember the details video will be uh, available February 1st at 1030 Pacific Stand Standard Time here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. If you want to, um, to join us, you want to check it out, do check out that details video. I think it's going to be another fun one. And I'm not going to give you a hint, but I'll see you at 1030 for the February Junk Journal Challenge. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for giving me a thumbs up. Don't forget to do the thing. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.